The Church of Scientology is coming under fire from six former members. They claim they were mentally and physically abused and forced to work around the clock. Susan Harrison is live at Scientology headquarters in Hollywood. Susan. Well, Christine, today's news conference comes on the second anniversary of what you may remember as the global protest against the Church of Scientology. That was by the group Anonymous. Today, there were allegations of exploitation, of forced abortions, and physical abuse. Six former members told their tales of abuse by the Church of Scientology, among them Mark Headley, who says he was with the church for 15 years, a part of the Sea Organization, what he calls a paramilitary force. I made $1,100 for uh, the entire year of the year 2000. That's how much money I was paid for working 100 hours a week every week of the year. But church spokesman Tommy Davis calls C a religious organization full of happy volunteers. Members of the C organization are volunteers who are dedicating their lives to the religion um, and that they're not expecting a minimum, minimum wage or anything like that. And it's, you know, much like- are you like also expected order. to work 100 hours a week? Um, it's, you know, m staff of the church works as, work as long as, as they want to work to get their job done. After I escaped, the C organization in 2005 and started my life over, um, I received a bill from Scientology for over $150,000. For the uh, for the courses that I did while I was there, uh, the character, the way he characterizes the church, the church's religious order, and the thousands of dedicated staff who love what they do, who voluntarily and willingly do what they do, that he is a liar. Well, there was also a woman there who says that she joins the church at age 12, was married and pregnant at 16, and was forced to have an abortion. Davis says absolutely not. That is not true. Davis also goes on to say that these six former members, they lose a lot of credibility by associating with this group anonymous. He calls them a hate group. Meantime, those six former members, well, they stand by their stories. Reporting live in Hollywood, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.